Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Organic Dairyman and welcome to my channel today. Today is Monday, May 27th, Memorial Day. And uh, yeah, I'm just um, getting ready to do the, uh, load up the feed wagon for the young stock here. And um, yeah, it, uh, it rained a little bit this morning. Uh, it's still kind of spitting out. Well, I don't know, I think it just kind of quit now. But it, it started kind of raining out a little bit of around 9 o'clock this morning. And been kind of spitting out ever since. Now it kind of, it kind of tapered off. But um, I think the bulk of the rain actually went to the south of us. South and to the east of us. So I'm thankful that we didn't get very much rain here at all. Maybe we got a tenth of rain. So, um, and I'm sure further south of here and east, they, I'm sure they got more than that. So. I, I feel bad for everybody that got more rain that didn't need it. Um, so, anyways, yeah. Um, as soon as we get done here with the feeding today, we're gonna we're gonna work at hauling that manure pile out. We're gonna actually unhook the 8670 from the drill because we don't need that hooked up to the drill anymore. Then we're gonna hook that up to another spreader and haul with that. So we go with two spreaders and get some haul out. My brother was gonna get the skid loader that's over at my cousin's place that we own half to we own half of it together with him. And uh, so he's going to get that, and he's going to start hauling up the manure pile while I work at the feeding here. It shouldn't take too long to do the feeding. And, um, yeah, the other thing here, too, is that I got a, well, I started already working at, too, is I got, if anybody remembers my video from the other day, um, yeah, I got this chain off here the, this morning. I think we're just going to have to get a new chain and put on there. Um, I got kind of bent, so just that way. We can use this again when we have to grind hay, but anyways, um, yeah, so that's kind of what we're going to work on around here today. Just haul some manure and chores, and finish up these chores, and that's going to be about it today. Not anything big today. Um, we also are waiting on the fertilizer yet. Um, we need to get that in, and we're going to put that over there in the hay shed. Oh, excuse me. And so, um, that's kind of what we're going to, uh, I don't know, when it, if it quits, if it doesn't rain anymore, then we're gonna, we're gonna get some stuff moving around in the hay shed to get ready for the fertilizer because it should come this week and we're gonna try to get some, uh, some compost in here this week too. So we gotta do that done so we got a lot of stuff to do this week if the rain stays away we've got a ton of stuff to do so um yeah so i'm gonna get going here with the feeding um, or the rest of the feeding and get this done so we can have some manure hauled and uh we need that out in the field wow would you believe that bird poop is making that thing short out in that insulator. Apparently, the bird poop must be creating a bridge for the electricity to jump across. Man, I, I heard that thing snapping all the way up in the main yard up there and I'm like, holy cow. I better come out here and investigate this. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, somehow I'll have to get that bird poop cleaned off.
spreading it. Alone, um, I know people are probably wondering why you're using this spreader. I thought this one was broke. Um, no, it's not broke. Um, it just needs the end gate is rusted out, and it also needs um, um, the apron chain in there. It needs to be um, well. The the flights are getting bad. You know, it's just that they're eventually one could break over time. We just we need to replace the apron chain but uh, I guess right now you know we're just using it for yard manure or not really yard manure but it's not really running manure so it's fine but eventually yes we do got to replace it but like I said the end gate back there it's got a big old a hole in the back and it's just fine for this but but you know, eventually we got to replace it so and I figured as long as I got the tractor here with GPS, I said I might as well just use the GPS. <laughs> so I don't have to sit there and uh, that way I can spread in there in a straight line every time. Yeah, I know the tractor is overkill for that spreader, but hey, why not use it if you can, you know? Well guys, I kind of had a little, a little boo-boo here. Um, well, it was pretty a simple thing, but uh, I lost a tire. Um, I forgot <laughs> before I started loading manure, I forgot to check the air in that tire. And it was low and it came off on the fuel road out there. It was fine when it was empty, but when it was loaded, yeah. So we're supposed to have a spare around here. That's not the spare. Um, but I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to ask my brother. It's around here someplace. Yeah, it's not out here, but. Yeah, these these tires here are obviously tubeless, <laughs> and god oh, dang it, I just I'll have to clean this rim all off. And uh, I hope it didn't hurt it. It didn't hurt the rim. If we got it cleaned off. It should be fine, I think. <sighs> I don't know how I could have forgotten that. I don't know. Today just isn't my day. I feel like. I just feel like I'm not with it today. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> I, I remember this winter one time we used it for a cattle gate or cattle when we were moving calves around one time. I remember it was low, and I, I just completely forgot about airing it up. I guess it happens, so <sighs> I'll have to go find that spare. I just don't know where it is. It's around here someplace, but I guess <sighs> stuff happens sometimes. Well, um, we didn't exactly find the right tire for it, but I mean the exact same size tithe. But this is an eight hold ram tire, so um, apparently that other tire, that spare one we had is on the other manure spreader that my brother's using. Um, and that tire there was on that spreader that my brother's using. And somehow we've neglected to get this tire fixed. Forgot about it, it just needs to be fixed. But uh, anyways, um, like this other tire that's over here by the, by the well, um, I got the rim. I cleaned off all the, the dirt and stuff on the rim on there, so um, yeah. So the rim is all cleaned up. Now we'll probably just take it to town and then let's take a wire wheel brush and go along the edges here. I don't know, maybe you guys just put a tube in here. Instead of having it be tubeless, I don't know. Either that or leave it tubeless and put some of that tire jacked in there. We'll see here, but it is... This tire's got a hole in it, so... I guess it's got a nail in the hole. That's why it was leaking, so... I guess. But, uh, But, yeah.
I made some progress on this uh, manure pile here. Um, I gotta go eat something yet. Uh, my brother, he's gonna come back and I don't know, maybe haul a couple more loads yet. And uh, I just gotta grab a bite to eat, so I'm gonna quit myself for now. But uh, yeah, we got quite a bit hauled out of here. There isn't too much left, so hopefully tomorrow we can get the uh, we can get the rest of the uh, rest of the manure hauled out of there, and then um, I think we've got we got to clean out a calf bun yet too. And then, um, yeah, so if we get um, all the manure hauled, then we could, uh, we can start plowing. So, um, well, first we got to get that, I guess we would like to get the, before we would start plowing, it would be nice to get the fertilizer and the, um, the compost here. So, but I know we got to rearrange some stuff here in the shed. Um, we got a, uh, I mentioned that yesterday, yesterday's video, or the other day, yeah, the other day's video, we got to, yeah, move the, get these square bales out of here and get the corn head and get the corn planter out so we could stick the fertilizer in here, um, but, uh, <sighs> I know. We gotta call our soil consultant and see what the deal is with the fertilizer. If it's gonna be coming here this week. I hope it comes this week. I know they're talking rain again on Tuesday, so um, yeah. So we'll see what happens here. If we get any more precipitation, I'm just glad it didn't rain any more than it did today. So um, so yeah. So anyways, guys, I think that's about it for today's video. Uh, it's uh, I don't know, slow and steady wins the race, I guess. <laughs> we'll get there a little bit at a time. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. The weather is gonna determine what happens for a lot of things, so um, I guess we'll just see how things go. But anyways, I gotta like I said I gotta grab a bite to eat. Then start milking. Start with milking chores. Get the cows back from the pasture and um whew, I guess I got so tired out from yesterday. But uh so anyways, um please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks to everybody that has taken the time to subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, please share this video with a friend or family member, and check out all my other videos. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman, and um, let's hope for some drier weather, and uh, whew, I just want to get corn planting done. I just want to get that done, but anyways, that's it for today, so take care. And uh, I'll catch you later.